User facilities are advanced, often large capabilities uh, established by the Department of Energy to allow researchers from universities, national laboratories, industry, or even international institutions, no cost access to these cutting edge capabilities in order to advance their particular fields of science. So the HDR NSUF is the Advanced Test Reactor National Scientific User Facility. That was established in 2007 at Idaho National Laboratory by the Office of Nuclear Energy. Uh, that is the first thing that makes it unique. In the meantime, and this is another unique aspect of it, is that the user facility has uh, grown in, in breadth and now we have a number of partner facilities both at other national laboratories, universities, even industry, and we are even coupling with other Office of Science user facilities. The final is that since it's a radiation in reactors, typically at a uh, Office of Science user facility, you would come in for a week or so, uh, maybe a number of days, use their beam line, and then you would take your results back and do the analysis. Because we have radioactive materials, we do a radiation test, our relationship with our users are much longer and can run into several years. So I've had uh, a good 25 years of experience or more. I've worked at international institutions, for example, the Max Planck Institute in, in for solid state research in Germany, uh, there for seven years. My experience in, in managing a program my experience in managing a department, which would be personnel, uh, working with, at and with universities, working at research institution. I've done fundamental and applied research. So I think pulling these all together uh, qualifies me uh, to, to lead this organization. I am the face, for better or for worse, I am the face of the uh, National Scientific User Facility. Uh, that means I am the central contact for all stakeholders. I carry the direct responsibility to the Department of Energy, the users and other organizations for uh, operating the user facility uh, to successfully carry forward uh, nuclear energy and advanced nuclear energy. So for my short-term goals, uh, I have uh, I've set for myself is to effectively manage the, the user and uh, expectations on, on operating the uh, user facility, but also to, to uh, coordinate well the partners that are coming in and, and established within the user facility itself. Also, uh, as, a, as a continuing goal, would be to increasing the sample library. So they established this library of irradiated samples and we want to increase this library so that when uh, users come in, uh, they can have access to these samples to perform work on a much shorter term basis. So when I was younger, I always thought to go into medicine. And then when I started to take chemistry, and particularly inorganic chemistry, which I finally got my PhD in, to understand uh, phenomena that were always fascinated me, like colors, and of course always liked explosions and that. So we're talking, why are fireworks colored? Why are gems colored and that? And I began to learn that. And then we moved into quantum mechanics and thermodynamics to understand in the quantum mechanics how electrons work and all of this uh, uh, goes on and which then takes you moving through the periodic table which as an inorganic chemist you look at the whole to the actinides and the actinides are really the most fascinating elements. Uh, in the meantime I've been working in uh, energy storage type systems and so it was a natural progression through all through energy, energy storage, energy generation the actinides uh, to work into nuclear energy and when the opportunity came that I could work with Argonne National Laboratory, I took it. Well, of course, since I just started this position about a month ago, I have absolutely no spare time, but, uh, and everybody says that. But I do, I enjoy skiing, skiing of all sorts, on snow, 
uh, also water skiing. Uh, I also like uh, landscaping, gardening, uh, and so I work in my backyard quite a bit during the summertime. And uh, also in these days, I've been renovating my house about the last year and a half, and that's taken up quite a bit of time. Well, I think probably people would be surprised to know that I, act, I have a farm in Alabama. So one might consider me a gentleman farmer. Well, of course, what everybody would tell them is to do something that you are enthused about, that you really want to, to be involved with, that excites you. But I would also add that uh, considering my path, I never, in my early days, uh, I never considered going into nuclear. And to go with the flow, basically let the cosmos take you where you should go, and I think you'll have a very enjoyable career.